This segment brought to you by SureCrop. Liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. We're back. Now we learn more about Wiffle's hybrids with Kyle Bauer and Mitch Heisler. Dwayne Thames joining you once again here on Ag AM in Kansas and an opportunity to catch up with Dr. Harold Newcomb with Merck Animal Health. And Dr. Newcomb, we think about uh, opportunities in the cattle industry to alleviate some of those uh, hidden uh, robbers of profitability. When we think about uh, parasite control, that's a great place to start uh, and from Merck's perspective. You bet. I mean, if we think about what parasites actually do to animals, we actually know that we have to control parasites to make us profitable. If you, if you think about parasites, too, think about that they affect every segment of the cattle production system, whether you're a cow-calf guy, a stalker guy, uh, or even a feedlot guy. Parasites are going to have an impact on your bottom line, so controlling them is a must. It's not an option. We think about, uh, typically, we see uh, flies, for example. Uh, it's pretty readily available if, if the cattle aren't comfortable, if they're bunching up. Uh, that's pretty easy to see and diagnose. But on the internal parasite side, uh, it's a little more uh, opaque for us to try and make some of those decisions and really understand when we're losing dollars. Well, well it is, because really most internal parasitism or GI parasitism is actually in the form of subclinical parasitism. In other words, the animals aren't really clinically ill from the parasites, but we're still seeing those production losses. The biggest thing that the parasite is doing to that animal is causing a reduction of feed intake. And when those animals don't eat, they don't perform. And those production losses can come in the form of decreased conception rates, decreased weaning weights, um, increased time to be, for those cattle taking to finish. All those things can come in and cause production losses that we see. Not only on those physical characteristics about those losses that we have, but uh, uh, organ meats and actual uh, harvest losses are potential as well. Yeah, the, the parasitized animal, the hot carcass weights will not be generally as high, and we can see lower uh, not only yield grades but quality grades as well. So it's important that we that we actually go out and try and strategically control these parasites. You know, if you're a cow-calf guy, like right now, it's in the fall, you may have already de dewormed your cattle and pregnancy checked and done all this, but because of the weather we've had, it's been conducive to parasite transmission. So if this was done, say, back in late August, September, maybe even earlier October, those animals have had a chance to go back out and probably re-parasitize so it's important that we go back and we check and make sure what we're doing has actually worked and the animals are, do have a low parasite burden in them. Now you referenced uh, being uh, targeted in our approach. Uh, we hear some things about uh, resistant parasites and things of that nature. Making sure that we get the job done is pretty important as well. It is, and, and the way we do that is we recommend that the producers do a fecal egg count reduction test, okay? And that's where they take 20 samples that the day, 20 fecal samples the day they deworm, and then 20 more again in that same group 14 days later. What we're trying to do is see a 90% reduction or greater in that egg count. If we see that, we know we've had a successful deworming. If we hadn't, we probably need to go ask ourselves a few questions. Number one, did we deworm the animals correctly? In other words, did we put the product on or in the animal the way it was supposed to be? And then did we put the right amount on? Because, you know, if we're dosing on the average weight, we're overdosing half, but we're underdosing half as well. So it's not only important to make sure we're getting the right dose, but getting the right dose applied or in the animal as well. Final thoughts from Merck Animal Health about uh, parasites and control. Well, parasite control is vital. It should be the cornerstone of every producer's animal health program. You need to make sure what you're doing is working, and you ought to be working with a veterinarian to make sure that your anthelmintic or deworming program is sustainable and working. All right, thanks to Dr. Harold Newcomb with Merck Animal Health joining us on Ag AM in Kansas. Jamie, we'll send it back to you. Thanks, Kyle. Come back after the break for this week's Kansas Farm Bureau update. Join us April 6th for the Gardner Angus Ranch 40th Anniversary Spring Production Sale at the ranch near Ashland, Kansas. The sale will feature 342 registered bulls, 386 registered females, and 532 bred Gardner Angus Influence commercial females. 
The sale will start at 9 a.m. sharp. If you are unable to join us in person, you can bid online by going to liveauction.tv and register prior to the sale. At Gardner Angus Ranch, you aren't just buying a breed. You are buying a brand backed by four generations of disciplined seed stock production. We hope to see you April 6th at the ranch.